Yeah, she been there for me from beginning to end. But yeah. the situation was, I, I thought that I was justified in what I was doing, but after thinking about the situation, I realized that I, I really wasn't. I could have avoided it, but a situation occurred between me and a guy over a female that did not belong to either one of us. And so the guy came at me with a bat, and I didn't run. I decided that my best course of action was to attack him before he could hit me with the bat. But before doing that, I did try to walk away. I tried to walk to the side. He cut my path off. Then I walked to the other side, he cut my path off. And in that moment, you know, people have fight or flight reactions to things. And I fought. The judge said that it was excessive. He said that, Really, to be honest, I could have done worse than what I did, but I wasn't trying to hurt him. I was trying to basically just defend myself, to be honest. But they didn't see it that way because he got severely injured. He ended up um, fracturing his cheekbone and eye socket. And I didn't know that I did all that damage. I didn't. It was on videotape. They could see that I did not stump him or anything. I probably hit the guy about 10 times. but. I don't know why he was so frail or I don't know. I didn't I didn't punch him with full force or maybe I did. I don't know, but he got hurt. Maybe I, I had some anger inside of me that I didn't know at the time. And I don't know, but that's how the situation played out. And the judge said that it was excessive, said that the damage was excessive, said my actions was excessive. And he was right that I could have avoided the situation because what I could have done was go back into the young lady's apartment that I came out of, but I didn't. I told myself what a lot of young people tend to do today, oh, no, he ain't about to try me. So I felt like he was trying me, and that's what I thought was the best course of action. But I ain't know it was going to cost me 10 years of my life. Empower who? Empower.